The Stockton Police Department is being faced with a shortage of nearly 100 officers. The department says they're competing with agencies across the state who are also trying to fill vacancies. Fox 40's Kristen Barton joining us now in studio to explain what Stockton's police chief had to say about the reason behind that shortage and Kristen what they're doing to keep the community safe. Well, Nikki, they've been operating at 75% capacity, but Stockton police have been able to seize hundreds of firearms just this year, and their chief says they even have a 40% homicide solving rate. But with 28 year-to-date homicides in the city compared to 24 last year in the same time frame, they're hoping to get more hands on deck and soon. It's not very appealing to become an officer these days. It's the reality these days of wearing the badge. You know, they feel there's other professions they can go into where they're not constantly being second guessed about the choices they've made, you know, the split second decisions that um, are, are just peeled apart. It's one of the reasons why Stockton Police Chief Stanley McFadden says they are short staffed by more than 100 officers. The men and women in this department are very passionate about what they do and they're leaning together, of course, are working hard. Right now, Stockton has 365 sworn in officers out of 485. You know, the goal is absolutely to try to, uh, to recruit from inside of Stockton, but the pool is small and we're competing with other agencies. Especially, McFadden says, in bigger cities. But he's hoping opportunities for advancement and chances to work on more task forces in Stockton than anywhere else in the region will be a draw. We're not gonna lower the bar. You know, we want the best and the brightest here in Stockton, and that's what we're going to seek. That's what we're going to get. McFadden says numbers are on their way up. They have another 34 recruits in the process of becoming full-time officers. The chief says the department's applications have been doubled in a year. That's thanks to their full-time recruiting unit. Yes, we're down officers, but it also gives us opportunity to peel things back and, and see how we can be most effective and efficient as we build back better. What that looks like, prioritizing more serious calls and personnel being dispatched to an active crime regardless of the district they're assigned to. The department has a helicopter out seven days a week, focusing on areas the chief says has historically higher crime rates. It's incredible. It, it, it's our first eyes on the scene, and they do an incredible job at being where the community wants them when it counts. And the department's community advisory board, McFadden says, helps them continue to tailor the response uniquely to each district. I love the, the sharing of responsibility of policing that is understood in this town, and um, I thrive off of that. And, you know, that's what's important, that we co-produce public safety. And efforts to boost numbers are even coming from outside of the department. Representative Josh Harder just proposed the Investing Community Safety Act to increase funding for recruitment and retention. The bill would also call on the attorney general to prioritize law enforcement agencies in areas with historically high crime. Nikki. Kristen, thank you.